name is Beatrice Ndongo. I am a branding and public relations expert in East Africa. Today we're going to be talking about how to sell anything. People buy things because of emotions. There are three particular things I'm going to be talking about today on how to sell anything. I remember I watched a movie called Wolf of Wall Street and uh, it was a very, very good movie for business people. So if you're a business person, you should watch that movie. I remember one of the main characters was selling something. He told people, sell me this pen. Sell me this pen. Only one person was able to sell the pen in a very, very easy and effective way. But the, the rest of the people were not able to sell the pen. If you want to know how the pen was sold, please check it out on YouTube or any other platform you'll find it. So today I'm going to be talking about how to sell anything. People sell things because of emotions. I'm going to tell you one thing. Think about something that you really want to buy, you really want to possess. Why is it that you want to buy it? Is it a car? Is it a house? Is it, a, is it clothes? Why is it that you want to buy it? Is the reason because of emotions? Because most reasons is because maybe it's the fear of not having something. It's jealousy. Maybe you see your neighbor has a car and you want the top of the range cars. Maybe it's because of pressure from the family. So a lot of people buy things because of emotion. So you have to use an emotional attachment. I remember I went, I went to this store once and uh, it was a watch store. They were selling watches. And um, I was doing a bit of window shopping. I wasn't buying the, I, was going to, I wasn't going to buy the particular watch. I was going for window shopping. And I saw this particular watch. It was so nice. It looked so nice, but it was rather expensive. And it was a designer watch. So the seller, or rather the salesperson, looked at me and was like, this person wants to buy that watch. So he came to me and told me, why don't you try that watch? So he removed that watch from the case and he told me, wear it. So I wore it. It was so beautiful on my hand. And the person told me, that watch looks so beautiful on you, Beatrice. I know that you go for a lot of meetings. People will look at it and be like, wow, you look amazing with that watch. So just through that, I was able to buy and possess that watch. Why? Because I used my emotions. That's why I'm saying a lot of people use emotions to buy things. So you have to look at the emotion side. The second thing that you have to do is to use stories. Stories are very effective. For example, right now I've just told you a story, two stories actually. So whenever you want to sell something, you have to look at the, the story side, for example. You have to ask that particular buyer, you have to ask him or her, why are you buying this thing? What is the purpose? You know, such things. You have to create a rapport with the person. Then come up with a story. Talk about the stories in your life. A relatable story, you know. One day I really wanted to buy a car, but I couldn't, but then I saw this. You know, come up with a story that will really touch the emotions of that person. So stories are very, very effective in selling things. Number three, people buy things because they want to solve a problem. For example, light bulbs. Every house in every country needs a, a light bulb. Every house has a light bulb. Every office, whatever, they always have light bulbs. It's already solving an issue of light. Everyone wants light in their house, in their office, in whatever. So you always buy things because you want to solve a problem. So you have to look for a problem, then solve it. So whenever you're buying a product or selling a product to a particular buyer, you have to look, look at a problem. What is it that I can do so that this person can buy this particular product? So those are the main three things on how to sell a product very effectively. I hope you have learned a thing or two from that. Next time we'll be talking about marketing strategies, how to market a product well. Well, I hope that from the little that I've talked to, you have uh, learned a thing or two. So thank you so much for tuning in. Next time we'll talk about more issues.